Hey everyone, Zero JT here with the x Fan Channel. I'm here to give you a quick taste of Fission Superstar X, a game where you're essentially taking a bomb from planet to planet so it can perform on a stage. Sounds crazy, right? That's actually exactly what we're gonna see here in one second. You're essentially piloting a ship with a bomb that's dressed up as a woman named Celine to essentially carry out this crazy dude's will, which is, hey, like, I was gonna blow up these planets, but you know what makes more sense? Putting a bomb on a giant stage. And he literally sends out a message saying that you need to build a stage for this bomb and uh, so she can perform, and it's kind of weird. So it begin essentially begins with you, uh, you start up with a clone of yourself uh, and you can allocate these different uh, uh, skill points, aim, armor, and then skill. And this one essentially is uh, allowing like the other, like this skill allows the other skills of other people to level up faster. Uh, armor is how much, like how much they can take before dying. Like, th like they, everyone pilots a, uh, a uh, turret and when that turret gets hit, they take damage, and if they die, that turret's gone. And then aim is just aim, and we're just gonna go ahead and go. And of course, this is the clone. This happens every single time. So I've actually unlocked uh, this second ship here. We're gonna go with the uh, normal one here. But uh, for blowing up Pluto, I got this second ship, because when I got to Pluto, uh, you're given options of like areas you wanna go, how far closer they will get you to an objective, or how much time they take. And one of them was, go forward, the other one was go forward, and the other one was blow up Pluto. And I blew up Pluto. And of course here I can pick like what I want my secondary uh, 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 clone to be. Sci as you can see in the uh, chart here, the pilot is at the top, the science officer is at the bottom, chief and engineer is in the back, and then the uh, medical officer is in the front. I've been doing with uh, the science officer. This I unlocked, I'm not 100% sure what I did. And then I can also just get a better uh, gun if I want. But uh, it's very interesting because of how the like level progression happens. Uh, one of the things I do think that does carry over from one run to the next is I blew up Pluto, so I don't think Pluto's there anymore. Uh, I did encounter in uh, these like sections you go through, I've seen like space cows, I've seen um, like a medical ship that's losing life pods. So as they hit my ship, they're giving my health back or they're actually hitting the other ships and giving their health back. But yeah, this dude is like super crazy. There's also uh, uh, different types of guns and stuff like that. Some run on energy, some run on bullets and stuff like that. And as you blow up ships, you get money and all that kind of fun stuff like that. Uh, this is just a uh, difficulty adjuster. So that's another thing unlocked. So as you can see here, I'm going to launch. As you can see, I start with uh, 100 ammo, 100 cash. So that doesn't transfer over from each thing. And we're going. And as you can see, Fission Superstar X. You can see the, the bomb, Celine, right down there. It's got a little face on it. Uh, as you can see, the turret on the top, and there's a turret on the bottom. So I control my ship with the left stick and then the right stick is the turrets and they each actually have firing ranges and then i have a shield which i never really use and i probably should and off we go upper right shows my uh my crew if you'll watch the other ships you'll see that they actually have weapons in certain places so most of this game is trying to maneuver yourself so you get a shot but they don't so he's got a gun on the bottom so i can kind of do that and some of them, if you blow out like the, the uh, pilot or if you blow out their guns or your or their canopies, you can actually do a lot of damage to them. Bottom left shows how much time is, uh, how long the stage is. Top left, if you'll see, there is uh, four sections. Even the ship has four different sections. Get past this guy. And as you can see, I'm picking up goodies and stuff like that. Uh, energy is, if you'll see the top, the energy is what the... Uh, goes these two guns I have here. First level is always like super easy. And he just left because we're out of time. So at the end of each stage, you can pick to level up your everyone's skill, everyone's armor, or the other two, the um, mechanic you can repair your ship or the medic you can heal your crew. Let's uh, level my skill. So this is the f interesting part. I can choose one of these paths here. As you can see, 
at the very top, there's little plips, and I'm heading towards each of these planets. See that first one? Uh, there's like a little P there. That's where Pluto is. So I did not blow up Pluto on that run. So it is coming back continually. So I guess I have to, whatever. So what happened there is I blew up Pluto and my run reset. So if I want to, so if I want to blow up each planet, my run will reset each time. So if I want to go to here, I will go forward two sp spaces. It will take a minute, but I will also include a weapon shop. This one will let me recruit someone. This one is just uh, empty space, and then this one is just recruitment. I'm gonna actually go and recruit someone. So now I can pick one of these guys, and they always coincide with uh, the spot that they pick. So I'm actually gonna get the guy in the back. Do I actually have enough for? No, I don't. So now you can see his bot. I got a guy in the back now, and this is the game. We'll try to find a place to buy a weapon next. And the ships, of course, will get stronger and fun stuff like that. So I, I blew out his uh, canopy there, so he's just gone. I've, I found that it's uh, much better to try to be behind a ship when you blow it up, because you'll be able to get their money and stuff. Uh, there are weapons that go through the shield, so you can actually have your shield firing at the same time. Uh, if you have your shield, if you have your shield up and you're firing, your own shield will deflect it. If you watch my uh, Top Gun, you'll see that there's a very little bit of sway. That's actually the uh, aim. See how it's kind of swaying? The higher that is, the less there'll be of that. And we're almost done with this section. There we go. So if I want to, I can repair everything with him, but I don't need to. All right, let's go to the shipyard. And like, they're different, like, Things that happen in each one, like one of those said singularities. There'd be little um, little pockets that will suck you into the middle of them and kind of alter your path. There's one where there's cows everywhere. There's one where there's a whole bunch of other ships that if you blow up their cargo containers, you get money and stuff. So let's upgrade my. Uh, I can't upgrade anything. Can't repair though. And of course you can save and quit. But let's get out of here. But yeah, I've been enjoying this. It's kind of fun. It was confusing to get used to at first, but I kind of figured it out. And of course, when you get to a planet, there is a boss. Come on. There it goes. That was it. The green little things are ammo for the uh, projectile weaponry. And then the gold bars are money, if you couldn't guess. But yeah, this is Fusion Superstar X. I think it's kind of neat. So he has a uh, melee weapon, which I can also get. So I kind of want to... There it is. That's a... That's actually a... Uh, that was a power down that actually hurt my science officer. Increase everyone's health. There you go. Let's go to the weapon shop. So I can get a rifle. Let's get this um, rifle and put it on the back. And let's go. So now if you look at the upper left. Oh, I put it on the top. If you look at the top. Uh, oh, God. So this is a mini boss. Dear Lord, that thing's ugly. So this is actually a space highway. But yeah, if, uh, if he was uh, a little bit higher, I would be able to use a, um, the, uh, I'd be able to use the uh, rifle net that would just use bullets. Oh boy, this thing's ugly. Come on. There it is. And he's gonna explode. Off he goes. And if I wanted to, I could destroy these cargo containers if I had uh, enough firepower and all that kind of fun stuff. But yeah, that's Fusion Fission Superstar X. I think it's funny. I believe if you die, uh, the guy is there and it just tells you, I think he's wearing his underwear on the, his head. But yeah, he is 
super crazy. And all the weapons have like DPS and stuff like that. And then I'm sure there are other ships that are smaller. The other one I got is faster, but doesn't have as much armor. And of course, like if you get all energy weapons, they're all pulling from the same pool of energy and you can always upgrade that and find st fun stuff like that. Oop. Get out of here. But yeah, this was the uh, space highway. Like I said before, I've seen the cows, which actually you can put your shield up and bounce them around to do damage to everyone else. God, those crates take a beating. I've, I've broken one before and it just, it took forever to break it. Ooh, a special weapon. Let's see what it is and then we'll move on. Where's this on the front? I don't have any ammo for great. Well, anyways, that's, uh, oh, there he is. Look at a little underwear on his head. Quit without saving. Well, that's Vision Superstar X. I think it's kind of fun. And uh, at the end, you get these um, different stuff. It looks like you get more DNA. You can get more DNA points to improve your pilot's beginning stats and all that kind of fun stuff. But anyways, I am Zero JD. This is the X-Play Fan Channel. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I would suggest checking out this game if you're interested. Uh, other than that, check out our videos. It helps us out a lot. If you like, comment, subscribe. I'll try to get back to you if you comment. Thank you. Have a nice day.